What's going on guys? Shane here with Coach PJ. Oh uh, yeah. Today we're going to share with you five ways to defend against the right hand. Not only the right straight, but a looping overhand punch or a right hook. Let's take a look at the first one. Alright guys, so the first way to defend against the right hand is going to be the most simple, just a helmet guard. PJ throws that right hand, I'm going to lift my wrist up to my ear, lifting my elbow up a little bit and just rotating my body. If I just lift my elbow up, he's going to still come right down the center and hit me in the face. So I need to rotate, but I don't want to block my vision either. So he throws it, I'm right here, I can still peek over top of my glove and of course I want to be able to counter, okay? Next one is going to be a parry. So instead of blocking, we're going to redirect the punch. So when it comes in, I'm just going to stop it by coming in. Just a little bit of a force on his knuckles to redirect. If it comes down and hits me in the chest, that's fine. I create an opening now and I call that skipping the rock. So it's one continuous motion. He throws, I skip, and I come in. Now one thing you want to be careful of is not overreaching, overextending. Because if he throws a feint and then the right hand, boom, I'm exposed and I'm going to get caught. Okay? So remember, just a little bit, just enough to stop that punch from coming in. And then I can either go with the left hook or the uh, jab. Okay? Now we're going to uh, incorporate some head movement now. So he throws that right hand, I can either slip if it's a straight, and then from here I can counter. Or if it's more of a, a looping or a hook punch, I'm going to move away from it at first and then go underneath. All right, So that one's going to be easy because naturally I'm going to want to get away from that punch, right? I don't want to get hit. Now I get underneath, I close off the distance, I can work the body, I can work the head. Okay, The next one is a high block or what I call a gate block. So again, if he throws more of a looping punch and I'm jabbing a lot, all I do is just lift my elbow up and protect my chin with my shoulder. Okay, So he throws that punch, I turn my palm out towards him and block that punch from coming in. And then I can clinch up from there, or I can just work my punches. So one more time, coach, throw that, boom, and then I can counter. Okay, and the last one is a pull. He throws that punch, I take the target away by leaning my head back, keeping my chin tucked, and of course, again, we counter. So he throws that right hand, I come back, I drop my lead hand. This is counterweight, counterbalance, come back in for my right hand, okay? Pressure on the rear foot, you're gonna spring off of your calf muscle, keep your chin tucked, and lift that lead shoulder. So he throws it again, back, and counter. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So if you have any comments or questions about the technique shown, leave them in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you. Until next time, be sure to check out Coach PJ's Instagram and channel. Hello. Links are in the description below. Until then, I'm Shane. It's Coach PJ. Fight tips for the underdogs.